The idea for this caverson, um, Jane, came from a video that we did with Laura B, who was using it to lunge one of her babies. And she had the sort of the slightly more old-fashioned, clumpier, fuller version of this. And we've refined it in order to create a version for Horse Hero, because so many users have actually asked us if they could have one. But, I mean, you've seen these in Germany before, haven't you? Yeah, but I haven't seen such a nice, neat design as this. Um, I'm really impressed with this. I think I want one. <laughs> but, um, you know, the problem with those, the old-fashioned ones, is they always seem to sort of twist and put a lot of pressure on the nose, and they never really fit correctly over here, so you've either got to do this up incredibly tight and feel like the horse is a little bit restricted. This is so simple, um, and I think taking it off the nose there is, is obviously, you know, much easier for lunging left and right. Well, Dr. So, B said he never used the one no, in the middle, well, so he we only never needed. Do. Yes, yeah. exactly. And so this is really well padded yeah. and the back, so you can get it fairly tight and you don't get any of the no, shearing I, I, and pulling. I'm really impressed. I think, I mean, I've seen them used in Germany, as you say, the sort of clumpy version, but, um, you know, our English ones are really antiquated now. It's time for a new design and this is, this is really super. Excellent. Well, that's, thank you very much for saying that. I mean, we're going to also um, show it uh, in a minute in conjunction with the lunging rope that Laura used in the same video because actually it works really well with that and in due course we might even have um, an adaptation to this that allows a basic simple strap to go over or under with a bit so you've actually got a whole braking mechanism yeah. for younger horses. I can see that would be really useful mm. because when you lunge young horses especially you know the first sort of couple of weeks the last thing you want to do is pull on their mouths but they do need to get used to a bit so that would work really really well. Now this fabulous looking model Denzel who is he? Denzel belongs to my husband and he's a seven-year-old and actually he's by um, Dr B's Don Davidoff so uh, I think there's a little bit of um, you know kind of motion in there because uh, we saw him as a four-year-old at Vector, didn't really know who his um, breeding was, then saw it and having seen Don Davidoff as obviously as a world champion, it was rather fun to bring one home. He's a lovely, lovely horse, very talented, super size as you can see, um, but with the most beautiful, beautiful attitude. So, uh, And Aram's going to compete for Hong Kong with yes, him. Yes, we've got big hopes for him. We're hoping that he'll be ready to do small tour next year for the Asian Games. So. Uh, He's got a big, big learning curve ahead of him, but he's, he's super talented. Uh, it's just his size, just giving him enough time. Well, thank you both very much, Jane Gregory and Denzel. Pleasure. Thank you. This is Step, my new four-year-old, um, who I've just had maybe two weeks now, and he's gorgeous. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to just show how we start off our youngsters. Um, even if they're not naughty, we often like to put them on the lunge before I ride them, just so that they have loosened up a bit and had a little jog around and just and they're warmed up and have just come to terms with their balance and their own body before I put my weight in the saddle. Not that my weight's that much, but <laughs> anyway. Um, my father likes us to use a caverson on the horses to lunge them so that we're not attaching the lunge to the bit we're attaching it here and then we've got we're not you know especially on a young horse that might be a little bit out of balance or pulls away a bit we're not pulling the bit across the mouth the way that it works is that the lunging line attaches to the ring on the horse hero caverson and the rope attaches to the bit so the horse is working to the mouth from the back through to the bit and the caverson is being used to take the, the, um, the lunge line and any pull on the circle so that the pull is not on the horse's mouth. Um, and coming soon is this extra strap here which we've threaded through, we've improvised and threaded through the caverson in order to secure the bit so that you don't have to put the caverson over a bridle, you just have one simple strap which fits on the outside so it's not actually trapping the movement of the bit underneath the caverson. So we have a, a three-piece system, which is the rope, the caverson and the slip. <laughs>